Hey, what's going on, people? It's Spider Man here once again with another film review. And this time I'm talking about a movie I've been wanting to see for a while. It's called Climax. Yes, the new film by Gaspar Noé, uh, which did, which he did, uh, Irreversible. Uh, one of my favorite movies, I Stand Alone and Enter the Void and all these other films. Uh, so this is his newest film, and I watched it last night. And as you may all know, if you've seen the trailer, it's about this group of dancers um, dancing in a club. I guess it's a um, studio. And so they're as a group of diverse dancers. Um, some of them don't even look like dancers, to be honest. Some of them look like models. Just they don't look like your typical dancers. Um, of course, this is a French film, and most of the dialogue is in French. Um, it's a little bit of English in here, but most of it's in French. So, uh, the plot is, it's a group of dancers, and they're dancing. Everything's cool. Everyone's getting turned up, you know. It's a good vibe. And all of a sudden, everyone starts going crazy. Like they're on some flock of drug, man. Like, have you guys seen the flock of drug? And it makes people like, you know, go crazy and just do crazy shit. Uh, this is kind of like what this movie reminded me of. Um, now, as far as like the way this movie looks, it looks like um, it looks more like the movie Irreversible. I guess if I can compare Gaspar's movies to his other films to this one, it would be that one. Um, because we have a lot of like upside down shots. And we have, of course, you know, like the whole uh, one take shots. Um, very, very good cinematography. Uh, if you're used to like his films, then you're going to see some familiar cinematography, some indoor shots, some outdoor shots, and just a lot of like experimental things going on here. Um, some of the acting was good, I thought, you know, as far as French acting goes. Um, the movie is not that long, um, maybe like clocking in an, an hour and 35 minutes, um, so I did kind of like that, um, but yeah, man, um, the things I didn't like about this film, well, let's see, let's talk about the intro first, the intro is pretty cool because the intro is like this TV and it's sort of interviewing the dancers, uh, you know, asking them about dancing and all this. But you also see like these uh, these references, these films, all these exploitation films like Unche Andalo, you see Suspiria there. They're all like these uh, stacked like movies besides the TV. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. A lot of these movies I've seen, but some of these were like, you know, I hadn't seen, which I might check out now that I've seen this, uh, you know, intro. So the intro was good. The intro was pretty creative, and I thought the movie had pretty diverse characters. Uh, none of these characters, though, you really care about. None of them are really, you know, you have feel like a connection with them. So when the crazy shit happens, you don't really feel any empathy or you don't feel sorry for any of these characters. Um, since you really don't know anything about them, really, I mean, you know that they're dancing, that they love to dance, I guess. Um... But this was a very overhyped film, and when I saw the trailer, I kind of got a little excited about it, to be honest. But um, now that I've seen it, I will say it's okay. It's probably one of Gaspar Noé's most overhyped films, but is it his best film? I don't think so. I mean, to be honest, I really didn't like most of his film, like Irre Irreversible. Was it was it was really different, you know, for what it was trying to do. But I didn't think it was that good. This film, to be honest, I thought was better than Irreversible, but not great, not his greatest film, you know, so far. Um, but I still think his best film is I Stand Alone, which I think you can find here on YouTube. You can still find it on here, and you can watch it for free. But I had I think that movie had a better story. Um, overall, and it was kind of disturbing too, I must say, uh, very psychological too, 
But yeah, man, I definitely recommend you guys all watch Climax. Um, if you want to see people on the flock of drug or dancers on a flock of drug, you know, wild out and, you know, just go bananas, man. Um, I will say, though, this movie is pretty original because of the whole dancing element. It's like if you mix dancing, a dance film with a horror film. And I don't think that's ever been done before. So for that alone, I give this movie originality points and a lot of credit, man, because... It's very hard nowadays to come up with some original shit, you know, like, and I thought, the, you know, this was good. Definitely recommend this movie, though. Not the best movie, but I think it's definitely worth watching. Um, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. Uh, let's go for 100 subscribers, man, you know, smash that sub button. And let me know what you guys thought. Have you seen Climax? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, did you think it was the most overhyped film, you know, ever since it was announced? Let me know what you guys think. All right. Peace.